Hey, how's it going? My name's John McLennan. I hope you're having a great day. And I'm here with GuitarControl.com. Thanks for tuning into this lesson. We're looking at a classic by Steely Dan today called Pretzel Logic. And it's a great tune. I love this band. And it's got great harmony, great guitar playing. I'm going to break it all down for you, so click the link below so you can get the tab that goes along with this video lesson. And we're going to zoom in and break it down. Here we go. So I came up with this way of playing that keyboard part on guitar and just trying to create that intro vamp. So it's based off an A minor 7 chord. And one of my favorite ways of playing that is like this, just putting my thumb on the 5th fret and then putting my 1st finger and just barring it down four strings there, the 1st through 4th string. Okay, and I use my thumb there, and what I'm going to do is play that note twice. And I kind of palm mute it a little bit, so I'm laying my palm down and taking a little ring out of the note. Then I play these two notes on the second and third string at the seventh fret. D and F sharp are those notes. And then I move up to E and G. So. And I'm playing those notes with my fingers. And then the other note that I'm adding in there is the seventh fret on the fifth string. So it's like four and one and two. Awesome groove. Then uh, the vocals come in with that great bluesy melody. And so you continue the vamp for one bar. So it's like, I have never. Seven, back to A minor. So for that F major seven, I'm basically playing eight, seven, five, five, five. Nice little chord there. So it's three, four, F major seven, then A minor. Then you go to D minor seven. back to A minor, so two bars of D minor 7 back to two bars of A minor 7. And again, whenever I have A minor, I'm going to insert that sort of Rhodes groove. So if I start at the top of the verse, here we go, one, two, three, four. two bars of A minor 7. And then that leads us into the chorus. Nice work! You've got the intro and verse down. Let's move on to the chorus now. The chorus has some hip changes, and so far we've kind of been in an A minor sort of shuffle blues feel. Um, and now we're going to change to the key of A major for a minute, which is pretty cool. It's like the sun comes out, <laughs> you know.
So that section begins on an E11 chord. You can also think of this as a D over E, but basically it's just holding one finger at the seventh fret and covering four or five strings from the fifth to the first. E11 to A major seven, and that's played five, skip a string, six, six, five. So. Then you go down and do the same thing two frets lower. D11 to G major 7, which is 3, 4, 4, 3. Now all these kind of jazz chords, I don't really play any open strings. Just keep them all nice and tight. Okay? So the melody on top is like... you know the melody so the guitar is going and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and four and two and three so it's three times through that cycle and then you end with these chords doing there is C major 7, 3, 5, 4, 5, 3, 2, 3, 4, F major 7, 1, skip a string, 2, 2, 1, and then this is one of my favorite chords, it would be a F add 9 with a G in the bass, or F over G. Again, it's like this kind of sound. It's another like eleventh kind of thing. Back to that A minor vamp. Okay, so I'm gonna play the verse and the chorus. I'll even start with the intro. So here it goes. Next up is the bridge. Let's break it down. Next we're at a guitar solo, which basically follows the same form as the verse. Go through that, go through the chorus, and then out of the chorus, we have an A minor vamp for four bars. So again, we go back to our little keyboard riff. And then we go with this D11. And that's sort of just like a, a, a rhythmic hit that leads us into the, the uh, bridge, where there's these hits like... So the guitar there would just go A minor, two, three, four, and then two hits on F, one, two, three, then one on A minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one,
two, three, four. Then you can do this walk up. Back to your D minor. So that was five, 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 seven, 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 eight, 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 nine, 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 D minor. back to the, the chorus again, and then we take it to the outro guitar solo. So for that outro solo, we're basically just going over A minor, then F major 7, F over G. great riffs over that chord progression. All right, let's get into my favorite part, the guitar solo. So I recorded down just that vamp, basically the three chords on the on the out outro there. And a lot of the solo that's on there is using pentatonic scale, and it sounds really cool to play A minor pentatonic against those hip jazz changes. And so I'll show you a few lines, kind of examples of that. Uh, the, the first one goes like this. And so I'm right here in the, you know, fifth position. I bend up at the seventh fret. And then you do five, five, then back to five. Eight, five. So. And then you slide to 7 from 8, and then do a pull off. 7, 5, roll over, 5, 7, so you just roll over the string there. Really cool lick. You know, I've played a million pentatonic licks just like that, but I never would have thought to come up with that one. And then... I'm trying to think about fingering for that. So basically, for the next lick, I would bend 7, 5, 5. And then come back to this 5, so slide to 10, and then play 8, so... And then you've got this 4th slick, which is really nice. So it's just 9, 10, 7, 8, 5, 6, resolve to 5. So kind of give you an example of just playing in this style. Uh, here's the vamp. does some kind of double stop. So you can get the idea there. I really hope you get inspired from this lesson to keep playing and keep practicing. For more information, you can click on the annotation on your screen or the iCard if you're on mobile. You can check out one of the courses from guitarcontrol.com. There's a lot of good ones on there. I've got some on there and a lot of other teachers and content. So be sure to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'm John McLennan. We'll see you in the next video lesson.